Hi, I'm Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 3 Chapter 2 Standard Form. In this chapter, you will learn 2.1 Significant Figures and 2.2 Standard Form. First, we go to 2.1 Significant Figures. The significant figures of an integer or decimal refer to the digits in the number stated accurately to a certain degree of accuracy, as required. Accuracy means degree of approximation of a measurement to the actual value shows level of accuracy. The number of significant numbers is counted starting from a non-zero digit. Example If I measure a box's height, I might get 220 millimeters. Two significant figures, 216 millimeters, three significant figures, and even more precise, 215.6 millimeters, four significant figures. In general, there are five points. First, all non zero digits are significant figures. Second, the digit zero between non zero digits is a significant figure. Example, 60,007, 5 significant figures, 50.0042, 6 significant figures. Third, the digit 0 at the end of an integer is a significant figure, according to the level of accuracy required. Example, 15,000, accuracy to nearest thousand, 2 significant figures, nearest hundred. 3 significant figures, nearest 10, 4 significant figures, nearest 1, 5 significant figures. Fourth, the digit 0 at the end of a decimal is a significant figure. This is because it determines the level of accuracy of the decimal. Example, 0 0.007, 1 significant figure. 0 0.005020, 4 significant figures. Fifth, the digit 0 before the first non zero digit is not a significant figure. Example, 0 0.005020, 4 significant figures. Determine the number of a decimal. Let's say there is a decimal, 0 0.00501400. Applying first point, all non-zero digits are significant figures. Applying second point, the digit zero between non-zero digits is a significant figure. Note that, decimal do not have third point. After that, apply fourth point. The digit zero at the end of a decimal is a significant figure. Lastly, apply fifth point. The digit zero before the first non zero digit is not a significant figure. Therefore, decimal 0 0.00501400 is six significant figures. Determine the number of an integer. Let's say there is an integer. 803,000. Applying first point, all non zero digits are significant figures. Applying second point, the digit zero between non zero digits is a significant figure. After that, apply third point, the digit zero at the end of an integer is a significant figure, according to the level of accuracy. Therefore, Integer 803,000 can be 3 significant figures, 4 significant figures, 5 significant figures or 6 significant figures depending on the level of accuracy. It's time to do some practices together. 1. Determine the numbers of significant figures for the numbers. Example A. 5008. 4 significant figures. B, 0 0.0716. 3 significant figures. C, 
0 0.820. Three significant figures. D. 1.2500. Five significant figures. E. 12,000. Two significant figures if the level of accuracy is nearest thousand. Three significant figures if the level of accuracy is nearest hundred. Four significant figures if the level of accuracy is nearest ten. Five significant figures if the level of accuracy is nearest one. Second, round off a number to certain numbers of significant figures. Example A. Round off 63,479 to two significant figures. 1, 2, the digit to be rounded off is 3. Look at the right-hand side digit of 3. It is 4, since 4 is less than 5, so 3 remains unchanged. Replace the 4, 7 and 9 with 0 as they are before decimal point. Therefore, the answer is 63,000. Example B, round off 2,476 to two significant figures. 1, 2, the digit to be rounded off is 4. Look at the right-hand side digit of 4. It is 7, since 7 is greater than 5, so add 1 to 4, and replace the 7 and 6 with 0. Therefore, the answer is 2,500. Example C, round off 68.79 to 3 significant figures. 1, 2, 3, the digit to be rounded off is 7. Look at the right-hand side digit of 7. It is 9, since 9 is greater than 5, so add 1 to 7, and take out the 9. Therefore, the answer is 68.8. Example D. Round off 0 0.008146 to three significant figures. 1, 2, 3, the digit to be rounded off is 4. Look at the right-hand side digit of 4. It is 6, since 6 is greater than 5, so add 1 to 4, and take out the 6. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.00815. Now, let's move on to 2.2 standard form. Standard form is a way to write a single number, very big or very small number, in the form. Digit A times 10 to the power of n, where A is digit between 1 and 9 inclusively, and n is an integer. There are five points we are going to discuss with examples. First, Change a single number to standard form. Example A, 28, put a decimal point after first non-zero digit, so will be 2.8. Since left hand side and right hand side must be equal, so 2.8 need to times 10 to make the equation correct. Therefore the answer is 2.8 times 10. Example B. 0 0.003025, put a decimal point after first non-zero digit, so will be 3.025. Since left-hand side and right-hand side must be equal, so 3.025 need to times by 1 1,000th to make the equation correct. 3.025 times 1 1 thousandth can be simplified as 3.025 times 1 tenth cubed. 3.025 times 1 tenth cubed can further simplify and become 3.025 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Therefore the answer is 3.025 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Second, change a number in standard form to a single number. Example A, 4.17 times 10 to the power of 5 equals 4.17 times 100,000. 100,000 have five zeros, so move the decimal point five places to the right, 
fill the space before the new decimal point with zeros. Therefore, the answer will be 417,000. Example B, 8.063 times 10 to the power of minus 5 equals 8.063 times 1 one hundred thousand. 100,000 have 5 zeros, due to this is 1 one hundred thousandth, so move the decimal point 5 places to the left. Put a zero before the new decimal point, and fill the spaces after the new decimal point with zeros. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.00008063. Third, operations of addition and subtraction of numbers in standard form. Example A. 2.73 times 10 cubed plus 5.92 times 10 cubed. Both of the numbers consist of 10 cubed, so can take it out and become open parenthesis 2.73 plus 5.92, close parenthesis times 10 cubed. Therefore, the answer is 8.65 times 10 cubed. Example B. 7.02 times 10 to the power of 4 plus 2.17 times 10 to the power of 5. There are two methods to solve this problem. Method 1, 10 to the power of 5 change to 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 4 to simplify calculation. 2.17 times 10 to the power of 1 equals 21.7. Both of the numbers consist of 10 to the power of 4, so can take it out. After that, do the addition in the parenthesis which gives 28.72. Since we need to make it into standard form, so 28.72 need to change it into 2.872 times 10 to the power of 1. Apply the law of indices, become 2.872 times 10 to the power of 1 plus 4. Therefore the answer is 2.872 times 10 to the power of 5. Method 2, 10 to the power of 4 change to 10 to the power of minus 1 times 10 to the power of 5 to simplify calculation. 7.02 times 10 to the power of minus 1 equals 0 0.702. Both of the numbers consist of 10 to the power of 5, so can take it out. After that, do the addition in the parenthesis which gives 2.872. Therefore the answer is 2.872 times 10 to the power of 5. The two methods gives the same answer. Fourth, operations of multiplication and division. Let's look at the law of indices. For multiplication, a times 10 to the power of m times b times 10 to the power of n equals a times b times 10 to the power of n plus n for division a times 10 to the power of m divide b times 10 to the power of n equals a divide b times 10 to the power of m minus n example a 3 times 10 to the power of 5 times 4.9 times 10 squared equals open parenthesis 3 times 4.9 close parenthesis times 10 to the power of 5 plus 2 3 times 4.9 equals 14.7 10 to the power of 5 plus 2 equals 10 to the power of 7 since we need to make it into standard form so 14.7 need to change it into 1.47 times 10 to the power of 1. Apply the law of indices, become 1.47 times 10 to the power of 1 plus 7. Therefore the answer is 1.47 times 10 to the power of 8. Example B, 6.8 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Divide. 4 times 10 to the power of minus 6 equals 6.8 divide 4 times 10 to the power of minus 3 minus minus 6. Therefore, the answer is 1.7 times 10 cubed. 
Fifth, solve the problem involving numbers in standard form. Diameter of Earth is 1.2742 times 10 to the power of 4 km. Calculate the surface area of the Earth, in km square. Answer in standard form correct to four significant figures. In order to find the surface area, first we need to find the radius. Radius of Earth is diameter divided by 2, so is equal to 6.371 times 10 cubed km. After that, use the formula to find the surface area of Earth, which is 4 pi r squared. 4 pi r squared equals 4 times 3.142 times. Open parenthesis 6.371 times 10 cubed close parenthesis square kilometer square, which gives 510,130,608.1 kilometer square. Due to the question asked to answer in standard form correct to four significant figures, so the final answer is 5.101 times 10 to the power of 8 km square. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. And if you got any question can comment below.